Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Dragon Age 2. This will be part 21 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we ended up helping out uh, the guy who I don't remember the name of. Um, the one that dreams, and we managed to rescue him from the dream uh, without the help of our, our friends. Uh, who betrayed us, except for Anders, who was currently possessed, or who was possessed by justice, I should say. Um, and, uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's it. We we saved the boy, and he went to Tavinta, because that's the only place that might have people that can help him. So, it's only fair. Uh, so, Roderick? Hey, uh, Isabella, you going to apologize to me Isabella. for betraying me? Are you talking about the flush on my cheeks? It must be the whiskey. Oh, yeah. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? Mm hmm. I'm following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Uh, you sure? Isn't that what you said last time? Oh, you mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes. That turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. Not the relic you were after? It could have contained the relic. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. Uh, I'll do what I can. can count on me. Thanks. I appreciate it. If I learn anything new, you'll be the first to hear about it. Right, so this was obviously her other quest. Now how about that apology? I never have affairs with my crew. Once yeah. they see you naked with your ass in the air, they think they don't have to take orders. <laughs> Probably fair. Men. Oh, you have to be twice as tough to earn half as much respect. Probably so true. Crew member mutiny. I mean, after you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I had the offending member removed. That got rid of the attitude. Brutal. I. Oh look, it's Hawk. Ha ha ha! Men, am I right? Fellow women. Okay, bye, Meryl. We need to talk. Mm. Ugh, bugger. I knew this was coming. You betrayed me. I'm sorry I abandoned you in the Fade. That was foolish of me. I mean, I didn't even get the ship in the end. You backstabber. So you admit it. You'll betray a friend for a ship. Hey, not just any ship. Mm. I could see the heart. Hard line of the hull. Run my hands along the elegant curve of her prow. Oh! <laughs> the demon was in my head. Nothing but the ship made sense. I wouldn't have left you. I would have stood by you, Isabella. No matter what the demon offered. Oh, so now you're playing the guilt card. Damn right. I already said you weren't I even that hard to buy. Like a want? ship. Would you like me to clean your privy for a month? Shit. I really shouldn't have said that. Hmm. Rivalry plus ten. Ah, she she deserves to have this, you know, held over her for a bit. The same thing that makes anything valuable. Uh, is there anyone else in here? Oh, we have Varric in here. I didn't get where I am by showing my hand, you know. No, your hand isn't what I hear you've been showing. <laughs> Alright, Varric, what do you got? Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Oh? Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... You must have plans. Uh... Just taking care of my family. No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. After everything that happened with Bethany, that's probably good thinking. To be honest. Yeah, actually, that's I there might be that's fair. I want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. Ah, uh, why bother? I hear you're sticking around. Might leave eventually. Been set in stone. But yeah, well, yeah. Think about staying. Kirkwall's boring without you. So we've got a whole city state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? Sure. I don't think there's anything else to really... Oop, aside from just random bits of loot. 
which I will definitely take. But I don't think there's any trouble to get into here. Off it, man. Anything good? Ooh. Hand axe. Uh, kind of shit. Doesn't really matter to me. What about in here? Anything good? Ooh. Complex chest, you say? Right. She is nowhere near as good as Varric at picking locks. Uh, actually, isn't she? Cunning 25? That's not bad. Probably needs like 30. Or, or it needs 26, which would be a bit rude. Yeah, what's Varric got? I don't think he's got a 30 or above. I can find out. Alright, what do you got? He does have 30. Well, having said that, maybe Varric can't open it either. Let's find out. Let's find out. <laughs> and if he can, then I know where I need to get Isabella up to. Uh, Varric, open. Aha, he can open it. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. So there might be some chests that we can't open with Isabella just yet. That's fine. We just need to put a few points into her cunning. Uh, get out of here. Bring us Isabella. And let's let's skedaddle. Uh okay, so we've just done Low Town. Could go Dark Town. Could go to the docks. Let's go to the docks. And we'll get like the main quest underway. We'll have plenty of time to to talk to everyone else. Whenever we want. Ooh, Gunari? Oh, this is probably how we get into how we get into there. Anything good around here? Crate. Probably has garbage. Junk? Yep. A cracked wooden shield. Absolute trash. Eh, there's probably not much else. Oh, there is a shady merchandise around the corner, which probably has armor for somebody, I bet. Oh, well. Kunari. Hawk. A patrol went missing along the wounded coast. Okay. The Arashok says you have some semblance of honor. It's... So tell me. True. Kill them. Uh, I'm at the top of your list. I can't be your only suspect. There's Coterie, Carter, Templars. Take your pick. <clears throat> you think the bars in this city could fell a Karatom? Hardly. You are another matter. It's flattering, You're I guess. Responsible. I waste my time here. Yeah, suppose that's flattering. All right, let's talk to the Arashok. You go ahead. I have something I should do. Uh, I can wait, but why? Put it off if that's what you want. But I need a reason. It's nothing really. I'm sure we have plenty to do, and I don't want to interrupt too much. Okay. Hey, I think I knew that man back in Antiva. Bye. Well, that's suspicious. <laughs> if there ever was suspiciousness, that's that's it. Dictionary definition. There's just a picture of Isabella. Sarah Hawk. That's what they call me. Last we met, I did not know your name. Did not care to. What's changed? You changed your fortune over the years. The Kunari have not. Yeah, you are still here. To see Hawk. Someone has stolen what he thinks is the formula for Gatlock. You will want to hunt him. You're hiring. It sounds like the recovery should be worth something to me. A thousand lives. The stolen formula was a decoy. Sarkamek, a poison gas, not explosives. Oh, lovely. A small amount is dangerous enough to your kind, but if made in quantity. Perhaps by someone intending to sell it. That merchant, Javaris. Would he be cautious? Or would he assume success and make enough to threaten a district? I mean... Knock, you will want to hunt him. What's the effect of the gas? Yeah, I mean... 
even if he is ambitious though and makes a ton of it like how much could he make without noticing something's wrong what's the effect of the gas so how dangerous does this fake mixture become it is not a threat to kunari for your kind it is as dangerous as those who breathe it can you elaborate okay that was vague kills, but first it turns allies against their own in blind rage so the greater the skill of those sent against us the more dangerous they become to their own people you have biological but warfare the best of times it is no longer our problem you have biological warfare that targets non-kunari it feels like that's fine like it feels like you wouldn't lose any wars uh i don't like this kunari. can't say i appreciate being saddled with this mess yeah that's right You're Set this in motion, not us. I was tempted to let it come to its my thief, end. not my thief. Hate on, Hawk. It will be interesting to see if you die. Mm. So, hunting a thief. Mm. At the don't don't like that. Oh yes, well we sent you because we're kind of hoping that you're going to die. Uh, can I get Isabella back? Now? Good, you done? On your little adventure? If anyone tries to sell you class, okay. just say no. I'm gonna assume that's a yes. Okay, so let's go to this shady merchant. Is there any other merchants in the district? No. There's probably not much more loot either, so we'll just go talk to this merchant, hopefully buy some armor or something, and then maybe we'll head where? Dark Town, High Town, High Town. That's going to be out and about. Mid Coast. Okay, and then we have to go at so night. What's that magical fisting thing you do? Um, sorry. Yep. You know, when you stick your hand into people. Oh, that. Yes. It's, uh... <laughs> sorry, I got to hang around for this one. You could make so much coin with that. In what way? Uh, in what way? He does kill people. Uh, Mistress Selby? Caravan heading for Markham. Okay. Markham. Uh, Shady Merchandise. What you got? Well, I don't need that. Don't need that. God, it's really struggling at the moment. Uh, Templar Armor Heavy Issue. I mean, it's a bit better than what I've got, but that is a lot better. Uh, it needs a bit of cunning. Oh, it's a it's a medium helmet. Gotcha. Uh, nothing else here particularly handy. Ah, there it is. Yeah, give me this stuff. Nice. We're gonna sell our junk. Nice. So I think we just leveled up uh, Anders armor and. Fenris's armor. Right? Yeah, we did. Isabella's still basic. And also has basic armor. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Isabella. Isabella, Isabella, Isabella. Alright, we'll have a poke around because we are looking for Tyrone's. Tyrone, Tyrone's tomes? So you never know where they could be. Are they right here? Oh, okay. Actually, they might just be in, like, dungeon-type encounters. Like when we go into, you know, a fight at a warehouse on the docks, like here. That's probably where it is. We probably have to keep an eye out for them at all times. Or maybe they only appear at night. Dunno. But... I think maybe we head to Darktown next. Oh, cheeky little crate. Belt. Suppose that's okay. And nothing else up there of interest. Okay. So let's head to Darktown. We'll go talk to Anders, then we'll start traveling around at night, I think, culminating in going to Hightown to speak to Fenris. Gonna be the way to go. So let's go Darktown. 
Oh, yeah, we have to go here for black powder courtesy as well. So we can actually do something sort of productive rather than just talking to our companions. Though it is nice to get that out of the way first. I was sailing to Lameron, and there was a fight between two of my men. Mm -hmm. It was over a dice game or the last piece of toast or something. Sailors, they're touchy about their toast. Okay. Is this going anywhere? It will if you let me finish. So, there's a knife fight, and Jim ends up with a broken... Alright, just, just listening to this one. Yep. It's very deep in there, and we're out at sea at least a week from the nearest port. Okay. If you were there, you could have reached... Ah, oh, right. We're, we're back to reaching into people. That's your whole point? Pretty much. Well, wasn't wrong. Uh, of course. I hope this helps. Thank you. Make a smile on you. Okay. Wow, one silver. I, I think that's fine. Uh, poisons, poisons, death root toxin. Uh, we could get that. We might just make like one. Because I think we just apply it. Yeah. It just does more damage. I don't see why not. No real reason to avoid it. Uh, the Coterie Barker. You're selling the assets of Javaris Tintop. We are. Limited districts, limited contracts. Keeps territory clear and separate from the start. Okay. A meager lot, but he skipped with dues outstanding. So up it goes. Where is this popular fellow? Sounds like he's made a few friends. Can one of them point me his way? Ask that about anyone else, I'd have you thrown out. This one, he owes me too. Okay, so where is he? Left in a hurry. I'd put him at Smuggler's Cup if he's avoiding patrols. It empties at a cave outside town. Okay. Tell him I said, don't come back. Javaris doesn't exactly sound like a masterminder's yeah. work here. Yeah, sounds like he possibly stole it and then is just booking it because he's worried. Maybe I uh, find a nicer place. Anders, I need to talk to you. I don't need to, but I will. And that will uh, stop the itch. Yes. Though I would stay away from women you meet in the port. Pirates tend to dock in unsavory places. Yeah, we know one. Yeah, that's right. Just use the salve if it comes back. Uh, excuse me. Oh, he's got the clap. Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. Uh, were well, they after the Templars are hunting you? Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. Have you considered not walking around with a star? A secret. It's only a matter of time. Uh, I want to know we about you. Much recently. How have you been? Good. I just love what Knight Commander Meredith's done with the place. Oh my God, Nantus! You bang on a lot. On Mage's families, everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. I'll keep you if safe. They you, they'll have to come through me. Didn't really mean in a just sexy way. Just, put risk. just, just putting it out there. The Knight supporting apostates a hanging offense. The thought of them hurting you. That's Everything fine. I've done to control this. I don't care. I would drown us in blood to keep you safe. Uh, you're losing control. This is justice talking, not you. We are the same. It is my passion for this cause that drives him. Okay. I will not give up this fight, Hawk. Know this now. One day, everyone in Kirk will, will have to choose a side. Okay. Touchy subject. Ooh, and his rivalry. God, I'm not doing well at like, keeping everyone friendly with me. We we're building up a bit of rivalry with everybody. Whoops. I'm, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to make it so everyone likes me, but... May not end up that way. Smuggler's cut. Um, do you want to go this way? Yeah, probably. Because we're going to come back here at night anyway, so we might as well do this, like, quest. I suppose. Yeah, we'll do some fighting. 
lads? They're fighting down here? Why is the Carter down here? Oh, yes. Although I think we have hit the point where my sword is no longer quite strong enough anymore. I think I need a sword upgrade. Although Isabella is kicking ass at the moment. Let's give him the chops. Put them all down, one at a time. That's how we win, just slowly whittle them down. Yeah, I seem to be struggling with actually sundering people. Which I kinda need to do. Did I actually stun him? No. Yeah, see, our status effects are not actually working that often. That's not great. Uh, ooh, I, I'm dying. Oh, it's because Anders is dead, so we got no heals. That's a problem. Is this our first major fight? Oh, no, we had the fade. But that doesn't really count. There we go. Okay, we're, we're alright. Ooh, Isabella just did a significant chunk of damage there. Okay. I think we just need to prioritize targets a bit more. That that was lazy. That was very lazy fighting. It's okay. We'll we'll improve. And yeah, I think we do need a better sword. Can we see what our sword's rated? Three stars. Not great. I think you want to keep five stars like forever. You, you never want to be under five stars unless obviously you've, like just leveled up and haven't got there yet. But you should always keep quite high. Okay, boom, chop. Okay, corrupted spider is a bit of a problem. Although not that bad when it's three on one, four on one. Okay, how's our crate? Anything good? Belt? Nope. Uh, woven bracelet, even worse. <laughs> so much worse. Lovele. Lovele, lovele, lovele. Okay, let's get back on track. That was a little diversion. Thankfully, all the dungeons in this game are actually quite small. They're not like the big, sprawling, crawling, like, continuous dungeons from the first game. Which I kind of like. It's a different direction. But I don't hate it. It means that everything feels a bit more personal. You really get the idea that Hawk is just like a busy person. Constantly moving around. Whereas in... The first Dragon Age, like, you very much had the... It was a big epic adventure, so every dungeon was a giant... Like... Fight. This is just Hawk being in control of the entire province, basically. Constantly being where things happen. Which I like. That, that is the gist that you get from it. Uh, it looks like more Carter thugs. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, oh, actually, while we're here, we're going to apply some Death Root Toxin. Maybe it's just because they're tough. Ooh, yeah, the extra nature damage is doing a little bit. Like, it's not going to single-handedly win the battle for us, but definitely help him. Oh, yeah, the knockback thing doesn't actually do much. Wow, there's a lot of boys here. Anders, you doing all right? Okay, Isabella's getting a... Bit mangle. Oh, she's fighting the assassin, that's why. Okay, yeah, that's fine. She'll win. Or at least she'll survive long enough. There we go. See, she'll survive long enough. Oh my god, there's more of them. Uh, we can do the full combo. 
Yeah, see, Isabella, maybe she needs something for disengaging. Because she's a little bit squishy. And she really needs something to just get away. Although, eh, if there's not like a hundred million of them, then Anders can keep us alive for the most part. Okay, standard chest. Isabella should be able to do that. Nice. One eight belt. Is that any good? Uh, maybe. Plus swing attack. Me. Eh. Life stones not any good. Not really. Yeah. One eight belts better than just a belt belt. So that's good. Uh, oh my god. Oh, okay. So now we've hit. Obviously, where Javaris's mercenaries are. Just keep pummeling away at him. Alright. Nice. Yeah, the Divine Smite thing is pretty good. It does, like, knock him back. It sort of makes him hang for a sec. It gives me enough time to move into a good position for that. That whirlwind, even though oftentimes the good position is where we were, basically. Ship in a bottle! Well, that's just a present for Isabella. Can I get stunned? No. <clears throat> right, not bad. Yeah, see, so knocks them all back, makes them stumble. Fenris, you doing right over there? I'm hearing a lot of grunting, not a lot of killing. Don't want to be that mercenary archer that just got bullied by everybody. Okay, so that's the way out. So where be the treasure? Ah, treasure. Nice. Rune? We should start making some runes, actually. We have the money, and they do make our weapons better. Although we didn't really have have anything to make our weapons better, I guess. Like, we didn't have slots for anything. Ah, oh, shit. Complex chest. You're not going to be able to do this, are you? I'd like to, sweet thing, but I can't. Shit. Oh, well. That's fine. One complex chest is not the end of the world. Generally speaking, they seem to be kind of garbage anyway. I tell myself, praying that it's true... I'm sure it just had, like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of something garbage, like a cracked wooden shield in it or something. Oh my god, so many boys. Alright, Isabella, you, you good? Oh yeah, she's, she's teleporting around, having a great time. Yeah, better sword. I think is definitely on the menu again. Oop. Fenr uh, not Fenris. Anders is in trouble. But we need to get Anders safe. He is the one that keeps everyone else alive, so if he dies, we're in supreme trouble. We're in advanced trouble. Nice. Okay, we got a bit of a knockback. Uh, Fenris is getting a little mangled. Okay, you chose to heal me. That's probably fine. Oh yeah, he was just fighting an archer, that's why. Archers do chunk health away pretty bad. Nice. Calm yourself, Javaris. You're not dead yet. Yet? You? Granny's garters, she would hire you. I can't buy a break on discount. You know Who? what? Go ahead. Take my head and pike it back to that sodding elf. I need the rest. Uh, elf? What in blazes are you talking about? Wait, you don't know? Then what? You're tracking for the Kunari? Yeah, pretty and much. She did it. That elf got them after me for nothing. Bitch born. The obvious thief was perhaps a bit too obvious. Well, yeah. Look, I'm minding business. Same old. And out of the blue, some elf tries to kill me. 
Says she's got the Kunari powder and I'm her cover. I saved right. her, hired some bodyguards and ran for it. And now you're here. Great. Uh, why not tell the Kunari? Innocent. You could plead your case to the Arashok. Let's break this down. And yeah, I was going to say, to be fair, I don't think they believe it. Wants me dead. Part two, the Kunari may think I'm a thief and also want me dead. Either option seemed promising. Didn't think so. Here, Go to the sovereign. Dark into light. I had a man follow her. The count, the, the duke, Lothar. whatever the hell he is. I just want to get out with my dead guards. Thanks for that. And get going. Good luck wherever you're bound, Javaris. The farther, the better. Right. Got me a rosy future to plan out. Think I'll start by selling some boots. Sodding bunch of. Take a long breath on a short shaft, you blasted dog lord in rotors. <laughs> Take a long breath on a short shaft. Love it. Uh, what loot we got? Oh, well. Nothing particularly exciting. Alright, well we are going to leave this episode here, I think. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think it only friends of mine enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback of the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.